Hi, welcome to our TaskSpeak Choice 4.0 introduction. We've added two new access modes, plus an anti-stimming mode that can be used with any of our access modes. Anti-stimming works by rejecting taps during a specified time period. You can adjust this time period between a half and eight seconds. After the initial tap, any tap made during this time span is rejected as a stimming tap. You can adjust this value to what you need to best accommodate your, your child or student. Detect Touch on Release lets you make contact with the iPad, move your hand around, and release your hand on the button that you want to actuate. You can use this with one or more fingers. Touch Averaging is similar to Touch and Release, but lets you use one or more fingers to swipe around, close to, or use a, a pinching action to access a button. It's very flexible and you should try it out to see how it works best for you. We have two new scanning features. The first lets you restart scanning at the last position where you left off scanning. And the second one enables private preview with recordings. Here's a feature lots of you have been looking for. We've made it easier to add buttons to a Tap Speak Choice page. There's three new options when you select the Tap the uh, Plus button on the toolbar. The new option lets you add a new button directly to the page without going first to a library. Next, we've made it easier for you to access the navigation library by having a navigation entry on the Add Button dropdown and finally, we've enabled you to access libraries just like you've had before with the last entry on the drop-down. We're now using Pixon Symbols designed by Gail Van Tatenhove and licensed from Semantic Compaction Systems. Pixon Symbols are an improvement over PCS in that they're explicitly designed for core communication. Pixon Symbols will become the core of our Choice AAC page set PCS symbols are still available for existing customers. With TapSpeak Choice 4.0, we've almost doubled the number of voices available to you and added eight more languages. You'll need to read download any existing voices that you're using. There's also a new pitch adjustment tool that lets you tailor a voice to become more age appropriate. We've added a new backup and restore system that's faster and more flexible than our existing systems. First, we've added support for Dropbox, which lets you save files to your own personal uh, Dropbox account in a cloud and then access your backup from any location, any computer that you want. It also makes it easier to transfer setups from one computer to another as long as they're using the same Dropbox account. The export and import features in TaskSpeak Choice 4.0 are the same as the backup and restore features in TaskSpeak Choice 3.0. This is to retain compatibility with your existing backup files. For those of you that use TaskSpeak Choice mainly for communication boards with assisted navigation, we've added a back and a home button to the toolbar that makes it easier for you to navigate around the app. We've added a completely customizable button background coloring system. You can use our coloring system or you can create your own coloring system. Colors are associated with parts of speech, which you can define on your own or use our parts of speech. To change a button's background color, simply long tap a button, go to the um, background editor and select a part of speech. 